Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of October 2nd through the 8th. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising signs. So Scorpio, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot deck along with the Goddess Guidance Oracle cards by Doreen Virtue. Okay, very interesting. At the bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Pentacles, Scorpio. So there definitely could be an Earth energy here around you. Might be a Taurus. Taurus is coming through the strongest. So there could be a Taurus. There could be an Earth energy around you that's very significant. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Some of you, this will be your energy with the Queen of Pentacles here, maybe very, very focused on a home, very focused on the family, very focused on your career or your finances with the Queen of Pentacles. For some of you, maybe you've been looking for a new job because the overall energy is the Five of Wands, which the Five of Wands can definitely represent competition around you. Fives can represent a more challenging energy. You actually have some amazing energies to work with, but uh, for those of you that maybe have been looking for like a new job or wanting to move up um, within the, the current company that you already work for, you might have been dealing with some competition around you or maybe even some jealousy within the workplace. This can be internal or external challenges, very small, petty challenges that you have to work through. You know, interesting enough, when I pulled a clarifying card, we have the Ten of Swords here. So whatever this is, however you relate to this, Scorpio, it is coming to an end. This is a cycle that's completing with the Ten of Swords. You've gone through the worst of something. This is the, the ending here. Um, so if you were dealing with stuff internally with that five of rods, feeling conflicted internally uh, about a situation with this energy of the queen of pentacles, you could be getting more grounded this week and that could be helping you maybe make some decisions. Uh, but this is, this, is, this is definitely coming to an end. Now we're starting out with the Emperor. We have the Emperor here and then I also have the King of Pentacles. So you have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You have the King of Pentacles here and then you have the Emperor, which the Emperor for me can sometimes represent Aries or Taurus. So a, a Taurus person definitely could be very significant. Now, if they're not a Taurus, you know, they could just be an older man, an older gentleman. For some of you, this is going to be maybe your boss. That's very significant with the Emperor and the, and the King of Pentacles. This could be your boss or someone who has some sort of authority over you. That's very significant. Because we have the Five of Wands uh, as the overall energy, just pick and choose your battles here. Uh, pick and choose your battles don't add fuel to any fires. This could even be a person around you who is a little irritable. So, you know, definitely watch your communication this week. With the King of Pentacles, though, here in the High Priestess under him, if this is your significant other, you know, maybe your significant other feels as though you're hiding stu stuff from them, or this could be, you know, this could be the other way around. This could be you feeling as though your significant other is hiding something from you. The emperor for me is normally a married man or he's a father. Someone who's very, very stable with this combination. This could be someone who's very successful here. And maybe this is a person you're involved with, or it could be a person you work for. And maybe, maybe you feel as though they're being a little secretive, or they feel as though you're being a little secretive with the High Priestess here. The High Priestess likes to play her cards close to her chest. She can be someone who manifests quietly. And then we also have the star here. So honestly, with this combination, some of you are definitely being divinely guided. You could even be dealing with a situation where divine timing is at play, definitely. So energetically, things are taking a little time uh, to manifest. But def definitely listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition 
I feel like this energy can definitely be prevented for some of you, again, by picking and choosing your battles, by walking away, by staying optimistic about a situation with the star. The star is all about hope and optimism. So some of you need to stay optimistic. There could be something that you're learning with the high priestess. And then we also have the sun here. For some of you, you could be learning something. Something that you were unaware of previously is coming to light. Sometimes the sun's energy comes in and it, and it shines its light upon certain things. It highlights certain things. So I feel like for some of you, this is something that you're learning. It could be a wish that's coming through with the star. And it's making you very happy. But you have to just stay out of your head. For some of you, this is an energy that's healing with the sun and then the eight of swords. This is a minor arcana energy and it's a mental energy. So some of you may be worrying unnecessarily, fearing the worst, having a lot of doubts, a lot of insecurities. But this energy, I feel like it's coming in and it's and it's healing you along with the star. Absolutely. This is an energy that you're coming out of really needing to stay optimistic this week which i think you're doing i really i really see that here i think that maybe previously some of you felt challenged but you could be learning something this week it's inspiring you it's giving you hope could be from this earth sign energy from this aries could be from even another water sign person or even a leo uh, you actually have a lot of majors here in this spread. One, two, three, four, five. You have five major arcanas here in this little spread. So some of you are definitely going through maybe a lot of change at the moment. And what's going to help you is staying positive. Staying positive, definitely. The sun is success. Success, abundance, you have a lot of abundance around you. Some of you, that's emotionally, that's financially. Some of you, that's within the family. That's with your children. I just see a lot of abundance here. You have the sun. You also have the ten of cups here, which is emotional abundance. Your family's happiness, your happiness. And then we also have the empress here. So some of you, your children, your family is definitely very significant. Maybe you were worried about them, worried about a certain situation. You know, there's really no need to worry. With the Eight of Swords, you know, keeping yourself in a mental prison, fearing the worst, worrying unnecessarily. But something's coming to light. Something's happening here, and it's very, very positive. There's also a lot of healing energy here. Now with the Empress, some of you might have been maybe trying to conceive or trying to expand your family. I feel like that's going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, so no matter if you're male or female, if, if, if you're a Scorpio that has been trying to start a family or trying to expand your family, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. The Scorpios I'm reading for, uh, it's going to happen. You're really worrying unnecessarily. With the Empress, the Sun, uh, I, I definitely see some of you conceiving. And maybe you're learning something this week that can help you on that journey. Uh, or some of you could actually be conceiving. This is that very fertile energy. There could even be some Scorpios that you're actually giving birth uh, this week. So if that's the case, congratulations. Um, but we have we have a couple here. We actually have two couples here because we have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. But then I also have the Empress and the Emperor. So we do have a couple here. So if you've been dealing with you know some challenges within your relationship. Definitely pick and choose your battles. Um, allow this healing energy to come in. So, you know, no matter what their zodiac sign is, you know, this is your equal. This is your equal. This is the person you're meant to be with. 
Um, they could be an earth sign, they could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, but this is your equal. And if you're single, if you're single, let's see, some of you could be finding love, definitely. You could be getting into a new relationship. And maybe, honestly, for some of you, it could be progressing very slowly. There could be some fear here. That could be on your end. That could be on their end. But if there's someone that you're interested in, Scorpio, maybe some of you will need to make the first move. So maybe getting creative, definitely getting creative. In some way, keeping things to yourself, definitely. Keep playing your cards close to your ch chest, getting a little creative, maybe surprising this person, planning how you're going to maybe approach this person. Um, but yeah, whoever this person is, they very well could be your match. Um, yeah. So wonderful. I feel like it's going to be a wonderful week for you. For, for those of you that are faced with like a challenging situation, pick and choose your battles. Okay. But let's, let's pull you an additional guidance card, additional guidance for Scorpio. But allow this healing energy to come through because there is a lot of healing energy here. And some of you just need maybe to stay optimistic about a particular matter. Additional guidance for Scorpio. What else does Scorpio need to know? And I definitely suggest watching your October Love Tarot forecast over on Vimeo, especially if this is in regards to a relationship or even uh, on the family front. Because if I remember correctly, I think you guys had a lot of messages in that reading um, about starting a family, expanding your family. Okay, so this is interesting. We have Guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. Wow, this is beautiful. So here you go. If you're a Scorpio that is worried about your children, I mean, you could be the Empress, you're the mother, and you're worried about your children here, there you go. I mean, this could not resonate more. This is beautiful. Guardian. You have a guardian angel. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. There's no need to worry. Okay, Scorpio, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to me, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading by me, please check out northeasttarot.com. I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.